and mother, letter 21. Wisdom of patience. The word patience bring up different meanings to each of us, depending on our perception, life experience, and knowledge that we have gained so far. Let us see what kind of thoughts pop up in our minds when we hear this word. Keep calm when, you, when your mind is in turmoil. Tolerate. Willpower. Power to withstand difficult situations and many more. All these are only words that are related to theory, but they do not prepare us to face situations wisely and with patience. This is because situations requiring patience happen so very quickly and our rea reactions, reactions are almost instantaneous that there is no time to put into practice those theories that we have learned. For instance, say someone annoys us then our reaction comes bubbling up instantly and we retort without stopping for a moment to think of our action. How to develop patience? So the first step in developing wisdom is to understand how to slow down. What are the three reactions that come up when we are angry? They are physical, verbal, or mental reactions that are best place to start training patients. Let us take verbal reactions first. Lord Buddha asked us to remember the ref reflect on five aspects before we repeat verbally. We should train ourselves always the five principles that Lord Buddha explained. Is it right time to express my views? Is it purposeful? Is my intention wholesome? Am I compassionate? Is the tone of my voice calming and soothing to the others? If we train regularly like this, we will be able to develop right speech. The next step is to develop mindfulness and clear comprehension. In this sensual desiring world, every one of us seek happiness immediately and go ahead with our actions heedlessly without caring if they are wholesome or unwholesome. Here is a story that illustrates this very well. The story is about an impatient Brahmin merchant. This Brahmin and his wife were expecting their first child and they were keen to collect gifts for the child. For instance, they wanted to buy a toy monkey for the child but the custom is to select a brown monkey for a boy and a pink monkey for a girl. The foolish merchant became so very impatient to know the gender of the unborn child that he opened the wife's stomach to see the child and kill both wife and an unborn child. We act the same way, yet we are unaware that we are doing so because our mind is covered with desire and delusion. Mindfulness helps us to examine our own mind and way to practice this is to develop in clear comprehension so we get to identify our emotions and then act wisely. Next, we love to identify the mind with wholesome and unwholesome then we should see that our mind is well-focused and not scattered. This is because it is only a well-focused mind that will lead us to wisdom. Once concentration is well-developed, we will be able to see mental conditions as they arise and pass away. What exercise can we practice on a daily basis to achieve this goal? The first exercise is to Turn your attention inward and to look at your own behavior. If, for instance, someone is shouting at you, make it a habit to see how your mind is react, how your mind is reacting uh, to this sound. Then, when you see your anger rising, try to slow down your actions. 
At this point, refrain from saying anything for whatever you say through anger, you are bound to regret later when you are calm. Wait and take a blissful breath and keep yourself calm till the time is right <clears throat> when you use the opportunity to have your say following the five principles given earlier. Learn to reflect on how to speak. Remember the advice that Lord Buddha gave little Rahula. Consider that you are going to say, a bliss, uh, say is blissful to yourself as well as to others. With practice, it will become a habitual pattern. Another thing is to remember is that we are angry and knows that we are angry. Do not try to reject it or to suppress it, for these are only temporary solutions. The anger is just a dormant and can be triggered easily. Instead, try to embrace it like a mother holding a child to give comfort and spread metta towards your heart and let go of the angry emotions with compassion. This is how we can use wisdom and patience to solve daily challenges. May all beings be peaceful. And at the end, I like to mention what a great thing we did today. It is a real Dhamma Dhana. Dhamma Dhana, Sabda Dhana, Jinati. And may all of you be blessed with all the merits and blessings, and may you attain Nibbana.